Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and this is a simple survival guide on fishing in New World. I'm going to go over some of the topics that I see people talk about the most, or just see people doing incorrectly. Now, first off, first two, freshwater, saltwater, and where to find bait. Now, simplest way to figure it out, I know this sounds really stupid, if you could collect water, it's fresh water. It literally says fresh water. I reach down, collect it, you know, I get water. If it's salt water, you can't do that. The game is a little vague sometimes on what's salt and what's fresh. That's the simplest way I've found to find it out. Now, next up on bait. Do I need bait to actually fish? No. I still don't recommend it, though. You, bait's actually pretty easy to find. Um, you can craft it. I don't recommend it. I've seen no special abilities on crafted bait. In fact, it seems to have a very small chance of even giving you a bonus for the resources. I don't recommend it. You can find bait in, cra in boxes. Also, it says small chance of bonus. The simplest way to get it is flipping over flint or salt water. Uh, it gives you night crawlers during the day, glow bugs at night. Those are useful in salt water. For fresh water, like I'm next to this pond... You find bulrushes all over the place next to these. I collect a few of these. And I will get fireflies. Now, you actually need bulrushes now. Because the bulrush comp can be used in alchemy. The reeds can be used in furniture crafting as well as a few other things. So, once you've got your fireflies, which gives you a large bonus and fresh water. Nightcrawlers, which is from the Flint. See, if you actually look here, it actually says derived from Flint during the day. And this is Flint during the night. That's the medium. That's the large. Now, I equip my bait here. And there is a hot spot. Now, I'm going to show you this more up close. As you can see, there's fish actually hopping and jumping out of the water. That means the hot spot is active. Just like if you find a node of iron that you can mine, this is the same concept. When it's in its inactive state or depleted, you just see this kind of foamy water instead without fish jumping out of it. Now, sometimes if you desync or you've got a slightly slower connection, it'll show that, you know, it's either hot or not. And the simplest way is just throw a line in it real fast. If you see landed on a hot spot, that means, you know, you're good to go and you can use it. <clears throat> now, as you level up, you unlock more hot spots that you can know of and you can use these properly. Now, as we see here, as I'm trying to pull on the line, there's a white ring around it that shows you your completion level. The distance doesn't really matter. I think that's just more of an immersion thing. Um... It generally has roughly the same level of difficulty if you throw a max line or a short line. Don't try to just keep short lining it thinking it's going to help out. It doesn't help that much if, you know, other than the fact that, you know, it may, you know, the different pawns and stuff, you do get bonuses for hitting certain spots in it for deep water and shallow water. So it's better to hit deep water if you're just randomly fishing. Like there, I hit shallow. And there we go, I hit deep that time. Now, deep water generally has larger fish. Larger fish give more XP than smaller fish, and that's by pounds. Now, if I catch two fish that are bass, one's two pounds and one's seven pounds, I'm going to get more XP off the seven pounds, and he's going to come from deep water. Now, rarer fish give you uh, more XP than a standard fish. I got 100 XP for a small bass. Now, if I was to go over here and fish, this is a one star. Now, you generally catch fish faster. And these, they also generally, there, see how the water's splashing really violently? That means I have a very fighty fish on my hands. Now, different fish are located in different water types as well as different zones. 
you're not going to catch every saltwater fish in any body of saltwater. You have to go to the different zones to find them. Same with the freshwater fish. Now, they don't really explain that in the game, which is a bit odd. Though, actual Wikipedia, if you're looking for one, has an entire guide of where to find every fish. I'd recommend checking that instead of me trying to explain it to you. It's much faster for you. Now, there you go. I got a large, heavy catfish and 163 XP for that. As your skill level goes up, you unlock more hotspots. You also can throw your line farther, which does help with getting to those deep water fish. As you unlock more hotspots as well, that's going to help you out. As you can see here, if I zoom in, it shows me that this is a 1-3 hotspot. But if you look here, you can always see this outline around hotspots. So if you're walking along and you see that around water, there's a hot spot there and you can just walk over and find it. You can search your map that way. I don't really, I mean, unless you're a person who's really looking for every hot spot in the game, it's not the greatest way to find them. It's better just to kind of check out the areas in front of you. And now, if you're wondering about, you know, which nodes you unlock when, here, you unlock two hot, broad, there's one broad, two broad, hot spots, broad, rare, I mean, that's what these things mean, is these are as you unlock them. See, it basically makes them discoverable and trackable. Now, you also get a bonus to range as you're throwing it, as well as your fishing rod having an effect on range. Now, as you can see, mine has freshwater brawn. I get better line strength in freshwater. I've got durability and lucky night. Now, each fish has a different, you know, weight and pull to it, so that affects it. Now, what do you do once you've got the fish? You can either use the fish as a whole ingredient, or you can use it as scrapping it. If I scrap this fish here, I get some fillets. I scrap this one here. I got fillets, but I also got catfish whiskers, which as we see here is a type three magical region. Now there's also different items that you can find. You've also got fish oil and stuff like that. You can find treasure chest as well. Now this is what I found in the treasure chest I opened earlier. Now you see, I got some silver, I got some platinum, I got some gems. You can find other resource items like, you know, old shoes, things like that. They can be broken down and salvaged for materials from leather to metal to, you know, wood, etc. Now, that pretty much covers all of the stuff about fishing. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I'm also leaving a post to my Discord in the description if anyone wants to talk about New Worlds or you know, if you're looking for someone to play with. All right, you have a nice day and goodbye.